Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day for a brand new month. Welcome to April, everyone, and some call it Fool's Day. Now you might say, why is it called Fool's Day? It's basically a chance to just play again, to just enjoy life, to bring in the sense of playfulness and lightheartedness again. So use that as a message for your own self. That's why the message is so strong today, to just leave your ego. Now, what does that mean again? It basically just means just whatever comes to you and, and tells you, tells you in what form, in a thought, in a feeling that this does not work for me, I'm tired of this, it's, it's irritability, it's sadness, it's fatigue, whatever form of negativity just rises, it's again raising its head to just clear the air literally. So leave your ego behind. That's why she looks also kind of like a fairy and very, very childlike, just holding her face up to the light. Just surrender yourself in whatever way you want to, using meditation, using prayer, using invocation, to say that, okay, I don't know how to handle all of this. Please tell me where. I'm still giving in to something that does not serve me. You have a brand new month. Consider it as a canvas to write upon, to clear the air. The affirmations, the invocations you want to bring in, Whatever new way you want to start a new habit, a new business, a new book, a new creative project, a new relationship with yourself, first of all, see how it is that you think about your own self. That's why saying leave your ego. It's not talking about others and where they are to blame or whatever is going wrong there. If you are having issues in friendships, in relationships, in family matters, in romantic relationships, in your marriage. It's just time to just see where it is that you're inviting this negativity in and why are you allowing yourself to suffer. That doesn't mean that you've gone wrong somewhere and that you're to be blamed. Leave your ego means that you are to bring forth your best self. That's why she has golden light literally pouring into her thoughts and traveling down her hair, changing her thoughts changing the way she approaches life, changing the way she receives whatever it is that is coming towards her because she's just involved in prayer, right? Her focus is right there. So she's not sitting there saying who's right and who's wrong and what's wrong and analyzing. She's just like, I want to just be free of. So that's what leave, leave Your Ego is basically helping you with because the angelic forces, remember, always come forward to those who believe, those who keep on asking then they get the chance to come and help you. So open that door for yourself. And she's wearing a nice golden gown with sparkling diamonds all over it. Again, she's inviting the golden light to pour all over her mind, body, spirit, your chakra points, your activities this day, whatever decisions you make. The more spontaneous you are and more in this moment you stay, the more you will see the changes, even by the end of this day, you will really see changes. Just something that used to really concern you at work, at home, a habit, a pattern, a way of speaking. I mean, it can be that detailed. Ask all of the archangels and all the divine ones to keep on helping you through this. You're not supposed to be some great warrior of the light. You're supposed to be real and ask and say, I don't know it all. Please tell me where it is that I'm still inviting negativity to me. That's why the border is so soft today with green, greenery, and literally, the again, the floral daisies. This time bringing in the energy of spring, literally, because the spring energy is very much pouring in. It's like the earth is waking up again, and so are you with that. That's why she looks also fey like saying, just come more into nature, being natural, enjoying all of nature, whatever form of nature you want to, be it floral, fragrance, juices, greenery, being outside, however the earth and nature support you, physically speaking, how you can bring that in. That's why also if you see her wings, they're not grand, right? They're 
sometimes you see the angelic wings and they're just pouring into the ethers and you just don't know where it's going, left or right. And it's not telling you to grow wings, but to feel lighthearted. That just literally shuffle your shoulders and let go. Let go of what? The past. And why is it then decorated, right? You might say, okay, if I'm letting go, then what is all this pattern for? That basically, what is it that you're carrying forward with you? Is it really thoughts, feelings, memories, relationships, ways and habits and foundation? It's the time really to examine all of that, dear one. If it doesn't work for you and you held it strongly for many years, it doesn't work for you. That doesn't mean there's anything, you're not being told to just set aside people or family, but at least change your opinion and perception and habits and behavior towards them. You're helping both the other person and you because you're not letting ego decide who's right and wrong. That will never help anyone. That's why all those wings are decorated. Each time you make a decision, you create a strong foundation for happiness and fulfillment, long-term benefit, success, peace, well-being. It all comes in. And then if you see the future, you also see that it's, again, outside their kind of red patterns helping And blue, the blue is again what kind of obstacles that you were dealing with in the past that you're now letting go of and leaving your ego behind. How are you making those changes? It's all coming towards you, the method, the application, who is helping, be it in the ethers, the divine ones, your prayers, or be, be it your friends and family and physical relationships in that sense. You're supported in every way. And if you see even in the past, there's hearts to keep it sweet. That you don't hide from your past because there might be people carrying abuses that they just want to wipe out completely. Do that. Retain what you want to retain. But why stop to remember a particular year in college, say, or childhood because there was something else in that same year that was repulsive. Don't do that to yourself. Again, the divine ones will decide and help you with that. That's why there are butterflies both on her wings and butterflies coming towards her hands saying, yes, dear one, we're helping you. Choose to invite all of this in, to remain sensitive and not to be afraid of your heart, not to be afraid of your feelings, and not to be afraid of, of feeling, of having a heart. Don't shut yourself or shut down. So just let go right now. It's just your ego. And the angels are telling you and helping you to access the wisdom of your higher self right here, right now, so easily. And first and foremost, in all of this activity that's going on and the messages that are coming in so sweetly, also decide for yourself which color is the color that you want to make your color of change. Why the color? Why is that important? It'll affect one of your chakra points and your connection to that particular realm of your life. You'll be able to do something with it. That's why she's also got her hands in prayer. What comes to you as priority? Don't question it. Again, there's no theme of the day per se. It's important to you. It helps you leave your ego. It helps you become more of yourself. So that is what you're doing. So the angels ask you to stop applying all of your human understanding to anything that's troubling you right now. Surrendering, I know, is a very difficult point sometimes because the logical mind says, and then what do I do? Just sit there in a bubble and do nothing? No, you're not in your right mind because of all that your ego is telling you is going wrong you'll be actually now be able to approach what is going correctly for you, what is right, influencing you at this time. So this ego 
Why do we have it then? Yes, there's a defensive and protective part of the ego that benefits you. But it does not enhance love. It makes you more defensive and protective. So see how much of you maybe is reacting from your compassionate nature, from your higher self, or how much of you is reacting from ego. So as you can see, your ego does not love, but thrives on making you separate and always tries to protect you at the cost of relationships, of course with yourself, and definitely with others. An environment will definitely be affected because you'll not just be available, you'll not be listening, your ears will be closed, you'll just do your own thing. How does that benefit anyone, right? So let Archangel Michael this day vacuum out all your fears. Keep on calling on him. As as said before, there's tremendous amounts of invocation and prayer and meditation and energetic healing practices that are available to you. Avail them this day more than ever. You're doing yourself and others a favor. And ask Archangel Jophiel to enter your thoughts. So you're reacting to everything automatically from your higher self. Because there's no you versus them. That, please, no. Immediately. If your ego chatters too much, give it a moment to have it say because then you realize what it is that you're actually ruining, kind of, and putting garbage and clutter into your mind that is not necessary. It's unserving. It has no purpose. So don't push something aside like, I'll take care of it later. That later will never come. Ask your angels to quiet your ego mind and voice. And you'll notice immediately a thought that seems, or a situation that seems so difficult to handle. Like this is just something I've held for years. So how is it going to go away right now? Just because it's been said in this message. But you'll receive heaven's wisdom. Oh, that's the heavenly way. Heaven has always been here. The angels, just they're just waiting for you to say, please just let us enter and help you. So once you surrender your will, you're also going to feel lighthearted and relaxed physically. In some form, you'll receive a sign. If not physically, then just a knowing, something that happens in the day to tell you that we're here. But they will make you know they're there. The divine ones, all of the divine ones. It's not just the angelic forces. Whoever you believe in. A divine master, a divine mother as goddess. Fragrance, the sunlight, whatever. There will be some divine meaning in everything this day. And you'll be like, I never noticed the beauty and details around me and how much the angelic forces and heavenly forces and the divine are helping and orchestrating, you can say the correct things, but we never notice it. We don't sit and take a diary around notice, noticing the details, right? You can ask for that even. The angels are willing to help you with every single detail of your life. You just surrender and you will have a fun day. That's playing also. Maybe you find a new way to play because you surrendered your will to the angels. And the ego, what will happen to it? Immediately silence. Look at her. She doesn't look like she's in any form of conflict. She's just sitting there calmly, not thinking about the laundry and not thinking about bills. The light is just coming to her and projecting out of her simul- simultaneously. So keep on seeing that light also bubbling as a huge bubble of light now surrounding you. A unique bubble of calmness, fulfillment, and peace. With rays of aqua, peacefulness, green, greenery and refreshment, health, Resolution, revival, however you want to define that. I'm just giving you some 
examples of words connected with the rays. You can add your own and be absolutely creative. You're meant to be that way. And we teach each other. Maybe I learned something new from you. So go ahead and share your thoughts with others. Again, you've left your ego. You're going forward as a child. And then the blue on the outer part, connecting you back to the universe in every way. So if you feel lonely or disconnected because of your ego, because of your problems, that's all that I connect with. That's all I, I'm really doing all the time, solving problems. I don't have any relationships. I don't even know what this word relationship means. Well, discover it. Rediscover what relationship means to you. And again, you've left your ego behind. Do something nice for someone else just because. You just want to feel, feel nice. Now, it's again, not being selfish. Being kind will in some way open up that higher part of your heart and you'll want to do more instinctively just because it feels good, both to the other person, to you, and just invites love just because. Do that too. And here's a beautiful affirmation to go with your day. Beautiful angels, wise guardians of my decisions and my mind, I ask you to shine the white light of divinity on my thoughts today. Help my ego get silenced. In this moment, I surrender all of my will and soul and power to God and you right now and ask you to help me release small thoughts for my higher self. So that canvas you're being given, it's you now choosing to go in any direction that you want and hope to go in. Wherever you feel stuck, wherever you feel dull, stagnant, you want to wake up, you just want to enjoy life again. Give yourself that chance and keep on looking and examining this vision for your own self. Don't just always go by the message that is given to you. This is just to trigger that point in your mind and heart as to how does this then really benefit me. There's nothing wrong in asking that. You're not dishonoring my words, Tina, <laughs> in delivering this to you. You're saying that I choose to walk forward with you. Because see how the flowers are just pointing towards her. They're not asking for acknowledgement. They're just giving what they have to give. You could choose one of them as your inspiration symbol or trigger point that oh that's how I want to be kind today again and if you feel that you're wanting to do something let's say give a card to someone or just give them a cup of coffee and you feel like oh my ego might rise again ask the angels to step in there to help you just be just because but even if you think, you don't blame yourself. It's blame that brings negativity. Negativity raises the ego because, again, defense will come up. You can see how they kind of trigger each other. Don't do that. Wherever you feel lost, negative, tired, you're going back to the same thing, you, you know, that circle of light around you, that orb around you is becoming dull again, you'll recognize it. That's why the ego wants to leave this day and wants to be silent. It's actually your ego saying this. And you're saying the ego can speak. No, it's just your higher self saying, I want to come forward. And the divine ones want to support you to remember how divine and precious and beautiful you are. You're not just ordinary. Just because you're not a healer or not a speaker or not sharing in that manner doesn't make you less special. You're bringing something to the planet and to all of existence that only you can bring. Discover that this day and you'll absolutely be at peace. She's just staying there in the moment, barefooted, 
So all of you, just surrender. Just as you are, you will not be judged. You will not be harmed. And if you will change, it will only be for your benefit to become better, a better expression of your own self. So try that for this day. And this comes to you from the graceful blessings of the angels by me, Tina. And I can be reached at T-I-N-A-S-A-R-U-P at the rate hotmail.com. And the superb way that the rays of light come to benefit you and to so sublimely and serenely change you comes from the superb art of Sue Miller. And Sue can be reached at S-U-E M I double L E R A R T dot com. So enjoy this day. Start your week. Start your new beginning. Start your new month. Welcome spring in every way possible. And this is Tina signing off for now. Bye bye. <music>